everyone simone and i'm back again with another video i'm back again with another video what's good pretty committee what's good what's good if you're new what's up what's up welcome to the family and you're pretty pretty committee too so you might as well hit that bell hit that bell hit that bell when you get so you can get notified when i upload a video you'll be part of notification gang if you notification game i do call you guys pretty committee so just let yourself know in the comments below you know you know you know let a girl know you're here but anyways um as you can tell by the title today i'll be talking about small youtuber struggles everyday shit that we go through it is not easy being a small youtuber whatsoever um of course everything doesn't happen overnight and it's really something that you have to work hard with and keep going keep going but don't give up but i just wanted to make a video about the struggles that come with it because it's a lot of them um one thing that i noticed while being on youtube is everybody's not going to support you so don't think that everybody is going to when you say that you're starting your YouTube channel, don't think that everybody's going to watch your videos. Everybody's going to share your videos just because they're cool with you or your family. Everybody's not going to do that, surprisingly. Um, it's just not how it works. You got to get it from the ground up. You got to put in all the leg work to get to where you want to be. But don't focus on the negativity and the people that don't support you. You still need to do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. Because I guarantee you... Once you get to where you need to be, those same people that you were wondering where they were at when it was time to support you, they're going to be right there front and center trying to then support you once you already did the legwork. So don't worry about people that don't support you. Um, another thing that I noticed while being on YouTube um, that's just um, being a small YouTuber, people think that they can... They can get over on you. And when I say that, I mean like people that do sub for sub. Guys, do not do sub for sub. That shit does not work. You're doing nothing but harming your channel at the end of the day. Sub, sub, sub for sub is straight bullshit. I'm sorry. Excuse my language. Sub for sub is straight bullshit. You know why? Because the same people that's um, asking you to subscribe to their channel. And I actually made a video about this. Um... A while ago so if you want to go through my videos it's subscribe real subscribers versus fake subscribers that's the name of the video so if you guys want to check that video out you can check that out that's another video in itself but yeah it people will subscribe to you and then a couple days later they will unsubscribe to you don't do it you got shysty people out there do not play yourself out people are just I don't know I don't know. I don't get the point of unsubscribing to people's channel whatsoever. It's not like it's Instagram. I don't I don't even do this on Instagram, but I'm just saying I don't do this on Instagram or any of my social media. Because if I'm your friend or subscriber, or if I'm following you on any of my social media, I'm there permanently. I don't find a reason for me to be doing that. Some people just want to make it look like they have more subscribers or followers. They want to make it seem like more people fuck with them. That in reality, nobody really fuck with them. <laughs> I don't know. I can't make sense of it. But yeah, don't do sub for sub. Because you'll go to sleep with like 301 subscribers and wake up with 250 subscribers. That's a lot of damn subscribers. Like you like, I went to sleep with this, high, this many subscribers. Yeah, when you're a small YouTuber, you're bound to lose subscribers but it's okay because you gain subscribers in replace of those subscribers every time i lose one subscriber i gain like five subscribers the next day keep pushing don't worry about the people that unsubscribe to your channel just know not to do sub for sub don't do that shit okay um also another um small youtuber struggle is basically staying consistent you have to find the because you're not getting paid for this we're all basically just doing this for fun, for the hell of it, f just for a hobby basically. We're not getting paid to sit on camera and talk and rant and all that other stuff. So you basically have to find the time out your day to make a video and be consistent with it. Like you can't just post a video once a month or 
once every two months you have to really stay consistent like when in the beginning when I first started my channel I was posting three times a week now I'm down to like two times one time a week but that's okay because I feel as though I'm still being consistent I could be a little bit more consistent if I could record every day which I probably could but I just be so tired after work and I am a mother and everything else I have to cook and all that stuff when I come home make sure we're ready in the morning so I have a lot to do but I make sure I do re get a chance whenever I have free time to record videos I make sure that's what I'm doing because I'm very serious about my channel and I would like to take it to the next level but I understand that being consistent is hard for a lot of us because we do have outside lives and like I said we're not getting paid for this so you gotta really be motivated mentally to keep on going, okay? So just don't lose, um, don't lose your motivation. Just keep going, keep going. You created your channel for a reason. Keep that in the back of your head of why you created your channel and keep on going with it, guys. Do not give up. And I understand that is a struggle when you're a small YouTuber because it feels like you're doing it for no reason. But you actually are doing it for a reason, guys. We all created our channel for a purpose. Just keep that, um, the reason why you created your channel in the back of your head and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing forward. Also, another small YouTuber problem is probably not having the proper setup and the proper equipment. Right now, I am recording with my iPhone 6 using that good old front camera and I know people say the front camera is not really all that great it's better to use the the back camera but I like to see myself when I'm recording if I use my back camera I would have to have a mirror and I ain't got time for all that so I'm using good old sunlight right now and I think the quality isn't bad right now so when you're starting out just use whatever you have whatever message you're trying to get through people will get it it doesn't matter what kind of quality you have. Don't tell, don't let people tell you, oh, you need to have this, you need to have that, you need to, no. If you're getting a good message across, people will listen to you. Okay? Okay. Um, also, um, what's another one? There's a lot, guys. There really is a lot. Um... Oh, running out of content ideas. I know a lot of people probably are. This runs, it kind of runs into being consistent. A, re, a lot of, uh, one reason why a lot of people aren't consistent is because they run out of ideas for videos. And you're like, well, what should I do next? What should I do next? Guys, you can record anything you want to. You don't have to make your channel based off one thing. Record whatever. Like, my channel has all kinds of stuff. Like, me and my fiance, we'll do challenges one day. It'll be me picking up the camera, just talking about random stuff. It'll be me ranting about stuff. It'll be me probably doing a get ready with me once in a blue i mean you can make your channel about anything so you don't have to set yourself short by just doing one kind of content on your channel and i know a lot of the big youtubers be like um people are probably gonna get lost of what your what your channel is about no make your channel make videos about whatever you want to because then you're going to be sitting there like thinking what should i make a video about you're setting yourself short don't do that don't do that make a video about whatever you want to like when i first started out i was doing like show reviews but i found out in my analytics in my analytics that that wasn't really for me because that wasn't getting the most views i guess people don't like watching me talk <laughs> i guess people don't want, like watching me talk so i stopped doing it and i started doing other stuff when you're in the beginning stages of your channel you're basically just trying to find your niche and what works best for you. So when you look at your analytics, that's what it's there for. See what you get the most views on, what your audience likes, and that's what you make your content based off of, okay? Um, I no longer do reviews because it was a waste of my time. Those videos is like 20, 21 minutes, 24 minutes long the most. And I know a lot of people don't have a um the patience to sit there and watch somebody talk for that long so i just stopped doing it because it was a waste of my time and it was just pointless so i no longer do show reviews i started doing other things don't sell yourself short um just do whatever works best 
for you do whatever the hell you want to do whatever the hell you want to um doing one thing gets boring after a while anyways at least for me i can't keep doing the same thing i'm like who who the hell wants to watch me do the same thing over and over again so i try to do different stuff on my channel different stuff different stuff different stuff um collabs is another struggle kind of because I know you guys probably want to collab with bigger YouTubers, but they're not going to want to collab with you because they're going to feel like you're using them. And they probably won't even get to your message to for you asking for a collab. I never asked nobody for a collab, not even other smaller YouTubers. I just feel as though I need to get to where I need to be first before I can collab with somebody. Um, if somebody asks me to collab, I'm down to collab, but I'm just not asking nobody to collab because I feel as though I need to get my channel to where it needs to be before I cl collab with someone else, if that makes any sense. But, um, yeah, that's, that's basically, um, oh yeah, another struggle is when you post a video, you're not going to have all these likes and comments right away. Like, you'll probably have your video up for like two hours. You'll probably get like three likes within those two to three hours and probably one, two comments. You have to really promote yourself. If people aren't notification, notification, notification gang, they're most likely probably, they'll probably see your videos, but it'll probably take them longer to see your videos and take it longer to pop up on their feed. Um, but you have to promote your videos in order for people to see them. So that's why I'm telling you guys, press that bell so you guys know when I upload a video and you can be part of this great community. I am building pretty committee, pretty committee. And if you're a guy, I guess it's Liddy committee, whatever the heck you want to be called. Give yourself a name. If you, I think I have some guy followers, but not really, but it's mainly female. So you guys are pretty committee. So just hit that bell. And you guys will be not notified every time I upload a video. But yeah, when you upload a video, you're not going to have all these likes and comments like the bigger YouTubers. It's it's a struggle, guys. It's not like Instagram or Facebook when you post a video, uh, a picture of yourself, you got like 30 likes in one minute. That's not how it goes. It's not how it goes. You just have to promote yourself. Don't let nothing discourage you. Just keep going. It probably feels like you're doing this for no reason for no reason right now but in the end it'll all be worth it just keep doing what you love to do and let's talk to the camera like a weirdo like myself but we're all creators we're all here for a reason so just keep pushing yourself and that was my video on small youtuber struggles and I know I got the struggle face going on guys I didn't beat my face for this video or anything so this is me in rare form, <laughs> natural form, natural state. This is me in natural state. But anyways, yes, that was my video on small YouTuber struggles. And I'll see you guys later.